Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So, uh, listen, this video is a little bit different. Um, this is a live commentary video here. All right. So I am in single player mode, not, not out of line. But I wanted to make a tutorial and a guide for you guys for the new survival creator mode. Okay. We can now create our own survivals. And this is awesome. It really, really is. It's super cool. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with this. And you can make some really good money with this too, all right? So uh, this video will be, just be talking about all the, There's a lot of information to go over. I'm going to try and go as quick as I can, but still help you guys understand what to do, all right? I'm going to sort of go over the basics and then let you guys kind of get into it and uh, just get lost in it because you can get lost in this and have a lot of fun, all right? So here we go. First things first, you can either... You can either be um, in single player mode or in online to, to start the creator, okay? It's no big deal. Just hit your options button and then go on over to online and then go on down to creator. And as you see, this page has been updated. Let's go to creator. Get that in there. Oh, bam, here we go. Survival, that's what we're looking for. Create a survival. All right, there's a tutorial that you can go through. It'll definitely help out, so I absolutely suggest and recommend you do that. Uh, but for the sake of the video, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. Hopefully, you can just use this as your tutorial, and uh, it'll be much, much better. It will be a lot better. It's me. I mean, come on. You'll definitely get a lot more out of that. All right, so you see you have a, a list of some categories here, and they have you know some other categories behind them. You have survival details and placement that are, they have a little warning sign right here. Anytime you see one of these little warning signs, that means that something has to be done in this category before you can save or publish the, the actual mission that you're building, all right? So let's, let's start with the survival details. And obviously this is pretty simple. Title, description, photo, um, you know, the, the picture you're gonna take. And everything has a little caption down here. All right, so for example, we've got a title. It says, set the title of the survival. The name will be displayed in the game and on the Rockstar Game Social Club. Some of these descriptions help out a lot, sometimes they don't. All right, but everything has a little description there, so check those out. You got that, you got survival configuration. The survival configuration, literally the best way to explain it is like the settings of the survival itself. So if you go in there, you got squad enemy options, Land vehicle, you can add land vehicles, air vehicles, choppers, planes. It's awesome, all right? The number of waves. Uh, basically, you can go from five waves all the way to 20. So we can make a 20-wave survival. That is dope. Oh, my God, it's so awesome. Uh, wave configuration. The re You can just reset the whole thing and start from scratch if you get mixed, uh, messed up or confused or whatever. All right, so inside squad enemy options, you got enemy model, which is what you actually pick your guy to look like. I'll zoom in down here. And this is what he looks like. You can kind of maneuver him. I'll let you get used to the controls yourself. You know, lost one, and it asks if you want to change it or whatever. Because it, it'll, it'll give you a warning, and it'll, it'll change all of them that you have in there. So that's really cool. And you can set different waves to have different bad guys. And you can have the heavy units, which, uh, like you guys know, with the new survival missions, we have the heavy units that were introduced. These guys take a little bit more to kill, right? You just have your regular bad guys, too. So you have that. Uh, you have it for the heavy unit models. You have some options. You have the land vehicle that you can uh, pick as well. Bam. Here we go. You got your uh, off-roads. It'll give you the warning. Are you sure you want to continue this action? Altering this will update all waves in your creation. So don't worry about that. You know, it, of course, it'll update it if you do decide to change that. So keep that in mind. Sand King, Bifta. I mean, so many different. You know, motorcycles. The Damon. You can put like an oppressor in here. I mean, look. You got the thrusts. Where is the oppressor? Is it on the motorcycles? No, it's on here somewhere though some bikes you can put in there military the tanks you know it's so police cars i mean it's awesome it's so freaking cool services ambulances buses i mean come on man that's tight <laughs> the patrol car it's so cool uh what else we got here industrial dozer so all this stuff you can you know however whatever you want to do whatever you want to make you know it's really really cool all right you can back out of that uh, enable these vehicles in all ways. You don't have to. You can, whatever you want. And you can switch all those in there. Air vehicle options. 
Buzzard, yes. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But, um, anyways, choppers. You can have planes in these, right? You can have jets. Let's go. Come on. Sick. Options are the number of ways we talked about that. You also have the wave configuration. Every single wave you can adjust. If you look to the right, it tells you what it's already about. For example, wave one is 10 enemies. That's it. It even tells you the estimated wave duration. It should only take 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Go to wave 20. You got 60 bad guys. You can add heavy bad guys in there, land vehicles, air vehicles, all that stuff. And it goes down for each one. You can go inside these wave here, all the settings. Look at that. It's awesome. It's ridiculous. I love it. I mean, you can get lost in here for hours. And if you get confused or messed up or just want to, you know, start over, reset it. All right. Next up, which is uh, very important as well, the placement. All right, the placement. Uh, basically, this is the most important. Uh, wherever you want to do or start or build your <laughs> survival, this placement right here is a bit. This is where everybody's going to spawn in at. So let's put it right here in the middle of the street. Or you hit X for that. Bam, there's your placement. Now, certain things have to be done in radius to your placement. Okay. You have lobby camera, uh, the play area bounds. This is basically, you know, where you're able to play. Like you're, 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 you're out of bounds zones, right? You got box or cylinder. And so type in, you know, or hit X on box place area. So that's what the box, you can kind of maneuver it, right? See how it makes it skinnier, flips it around, wider as such. This kind of moves along the, uh, the axis right there. The building's getting away. It'll vibrate like that. You can go to the cylinder right it is you know that maybe it'll be easier for you know people you just have the radius which you can expand out like so see that's pretty cool makes it much simpler i think you know if you whatever you want to do though whatever you want to do then you got the top you know how high do you want it to go you know so if you if you climb a building or something you'll be out of bounds or if you got maybe aerial vehicles involved i don't know so, so everything the base how maybe it's in the water right i mean it's just, it's crazy i love it then you can just clear it out if you want. Oh, you don't have anything selected yet. Uh, or I don't, anyways. So remove the placed area and reset the size yet. Yeah, so, all right, anyways, so you got that. Lobby uh, lobby camera, that's the play area bounds. We just did that. Uh, then you had the, the player spawn points. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, player spawn points. This is just where your players are actually going to spawn in. When you start the, uh, you can have multiple locations. When you start the survival, so you got four players, right? So you got four spawn points. Where are they going to be at? Bam, bam, bam. You know, just put them wherever you want to in that particular area. Enemy spawn points. This, you know, you don't want to put the enemy spawn points. I mean, you can. It's your own creation. You can put it right next to your guys, right? Guys spawn in right here. Bunch of bad guys spawn in right here, right? But you, what I would recommend is, you know, towards the boundary see how you have the red right here this is as far back as you can put the bad guys I'd, I'd you know place them you know somewhere kind of far away so you're able to get cover or some vest or whatever before all your guys get shot up from where they spawn in right bam so you got that that's how that works real simple your land vehicle spawn points again you know all depending on what you want to do and how you want to do this you know maybe you want the vehicle spawning right with the uh guys that's so, you know think about the survivals that you've already done right all the ones that you've played time and time again or maybe just a few times the vehicles tend to spawn usually where the bad guys spawn like on foot so just kind of put them where you want to and you have multiple waves they can spawn from multiple directions so you can kind of mix it up a little bit that's really fun then you have the world of props. Oh my God, there's so many props. So many props that you can put in. Give yourself cover. I mean, you can add like race tracks on here. I mean, it's you know, everything, whatever you want. So you can add in here. Rocks, plants, stuff that blows up. Look at that, race tracks. I mean, it's, it's just so much fun. A lot of cool stuff. You'll get lost in here. You'll get lost. I mean, look at that. You put a, uh, you know, some, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, this will help out with walls if you want to. Uh, you got all that land vehicle. I already put that in there. Bam, there we go. All right, you have to, you, and you have to have so many. Like if, if it's four, if it says four, let me go back. Uh, see one out of five. 
cycle through them. It'll take you to where each one of them is at. You got to have a certain amount of number, right? We'll take a uh, lobby camera picture. Yeah, I'm just going real quick. I'm trying to, you know, I don't want this to eat up a whole bunch of time. There's so much. This will be an hour long video. You know what I mean? So I just want to give you a quick preview of what this is, right? Take a, you know, whatever the camera's got. Oh, yeah, it's got to be down in that particular zone. Let me get down here. All right, so I have to be like in the particular area, the little yellow. I can take a camera, it'll show up for the lobby, camera picture, or lobby picture, or whatever, right? Put some more props in, uh, pick up positions. These are like, uh, you know, uh, pick up type, you got weapon, you got, uh, what, health? Yeah, the weapons, oh yeah, duh, yeah, the armor, the vest, the weapon, you know, so whatever you wanna put in there. You can only have 20 though. Look at the bottom right corner. I can only have 20 of all these totals. So you either do all health, all armor, a mixture of both, all weapon, you know, whatever. I would say just focus on health and armor because everyone wants weapons, or they should. You know what I mean? So, but it's up to you. 20 ways may eat up a lot of your guys' ammo. I'm not sure what all you guys have. All right, so that's what that is. You know, delete options right there. And once you have it built, you back out. You know, you got to have a name in there. You know, I, I don't, just for the sake of this, uh, I don't want to go too crazy with it. But once you clear out all of these little uh, alerts or warning signs or caution signs, you know, put make your photo that you need to add. I'm going to take that. Bam, got that. Looks good. See, it went away. Give it a description. Give it a title. And uh, you're set. And then you have to preview it and test it. It's two waves. You have to go through two waves. That way, it's usually about two waves. That way, all the spawn points, however long it takes for all the spawn points to get tested. It's real easy. It's taking me no more than just a couple of waves, you know, but I, I can't guarantee it's only two. Maybe it's one, maybe it's five. I don't know. It depends on how yours is built, right? Then, you know, save it throughout this. Save it throughout, right? Don't just, um, you know, build this for an hour. Not, you know, every, every 10, 15 minutes, come back and save it. Then once you're totally done, all these little alerts are gone. You publish it and bam, that's it. It uploads it to Social Club and you're ready to go. And that's, this is the gist of it right here. And that's what this is. I know, listen, I, again, I, I'm just trying to give you the basics so you guys can get into it and have a little bit of fun with it. Because the hardest part of people, you know, not doing this, they just simply don't even know where to begin. So hopefully I've given you an idea of where to begin. You're going to have to get into it and, and uh, you know, kind of play around and make some mistakes and mess up and spend some time on it to really get the, the gist of it. But yeah, so, you know, that's what that is. All right, maybe uh, I'll do a live broadcast. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. If you want me to do a live broadcast of building one or whatever, that's fine. Maybe a little boring, though. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty cool. Though. I mean, you can set your vehicles, your planes, you know, all these props. I mean, it's so much fun. You can do a lot with this. You really can. I can't wait to see some of the really cool uh, different survivals out here. So, yeah, that's that's it. And this is, once again, live commentary. So, sorry, it was a weird video. I know it's kind of, like, awkward. But uh, yeah, that's I just want to kind of give you guys an idea and show you this and hopefully not mess up and, you know, whatever, be terrible. So <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for coming out of the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smush smash that like button and you guys stay dangerous, right? We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.